Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you some cool simple tips that you can do to try to speed up your Adobe Lightroom CC. So a lot of these tips I'm going to show you are actually built into Lightroom CC, but one of the things I want to talk about before getting started real quick is the the fact that if you have an older machine, uh, much like I do actually, I have, a, I have an iMac, an Apple iMac that was uh, purchased in 2010. And so it's about seven years old. So it's a, it's a fairly old machine. So most of these things that I'm doing right here are, are basically to enhance the experience that I have. Obviously, if you have an older machine, most of these tips aren't going to help you just because your machine can't keep up. But uh, a lot of the best practices that you can use will, will at least help. And so uh, one, one thing I want to talk about is the settings panel. So in Adobe Lightroom, if you go to uh, Lightroom and then Preferences, or on a PC, I believe it's File Preferences, I'm going to click in there, and now you can see all these uh, cool preferences that you can check out. Uh, but one of the first things I want to talk about is File Handling. File Handling is this tab right here, and you can see down at this bottom section, we have Camera Raw Cache Settings. And what this basically does is give you, um, gives, uh, takes hard drive space on your on your hard drive and allows it to use that for, uh, you know, temporary memory. Uh, I have my set to 30 the default is actually set to one gigabyte but I have a little bit of space on my machine so I'm gonna I set mine to around 25 or 30 this just gives the Lightroom a little bit more breathing room to uh, to help write files and 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 use part of your hard drive uh, as a, as kind of quick access random memory so the next thing you can do staying in the settings panel is go to performance uh, you will have two options here in Adobe Lightroom CC you have the use graphics processor and the uh, fairly new use smart previews instead of originals for photo editing and so uh, the I have mine turned off but the use graphics processor is a, is a really good setting if you have a newer machine uh, and what this basically does is instead of using your CPU this allows it to use the graphics processor as well to try to handle a lot more of the graphic intensive uh, tasks. Uh, I have mine turned off because my machine is is fairly old so when I turn this on my Lightroom actually runs slower and so if you're experiencing that and you have this turned on go ahead and turn it off and see if your Lightroom actually runs a little bit faster. Uh, the develop here down here where it says use uh, smart previews uh, this is a feature that will allow you to edit your files but you're not actually touching the original file as you normally would be what it's doing is allowing you to edit your photos using a uh, smaller file that's a little bit lesser quality than what you're used to uh, but you're, you're just editing it applying the basic settings uh, your final exports as it says here your final output will remain full quality this is basically just saying that you're, you're you're looking at a less quality uh, preview of your image, um, but it will allow for faster editing. So I have that one turned on. So when I'm when I'm editing a file over here, uh, it will, the quality will look just a little bit less than what I'm used to, uh, but that's okay because I know the final output will be high quality. So a couple other things that you can do uh, actually on import. So I'm gonna click down the imp import box here. You can see this section over here under file handling. This file handling section actually has a one to one. Uh, every time I import, I always have it set to one to one. And what this does is basically when you're importing your photos, uh, if you have it set on minimal, what this doing is actually importing all your photos, but uh, they're not importing the whole image. And so when you go to Im edit your image uh, and you, let's say you zoom in or do something like that, you can sometimes you can tell that the photo is still blurry and then all of a sudden it pops up and it's a fairly high quality image. Uh, what this does is already make the uh, preview of that so that when you zoom in and zoom out and fly through your images, uh, everything's already pre-built so, so Lightroom doesn't have to render everything at once. The only downside of this is when you import, the import process will take a very long time uh, depending on your file sizes. So uh, one thing to do is just kind of uh, hit the import button on your images, walk away for a while and let it do its thing. Uh, just knowing that when you go to edit your images, you're going to have a little bit more of a speedy process. And the other option that you can do uh, when you're importing your images is actually apply an import preset, which is under the section apply during import. And so what I like to do is this is kind of a, a workflow tip, uh, but also uh, one thing that you can do to kind of enhance and speed up your editing process. So down here, you can see all of these presets. Most of these are sleek lens presets here, and this allows you to uh, do 
do basic edits to your photos upon import so you don't have to do much to them when you get them fully imported so you can see it here I have an import preset uh, folder here and I have import standard and that's usually what I click on and it applies certain things like uh, hue saturation adjustments uh, lowers the shadows brings up the highlights stuff like that uh, it does a whole lot of stuff like that so um, it, it saves me time once I start editing so I hope you enjoyed those quick little tips on how to uh, hopefully speed up your Lightroom and your photo editing experience. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com and I'll see you in the next video.